Hello, my dear. Rhonda Constant, your favorite hometown medium, physical energy healer, oracle card advisor, paranormal investigator, voice for your loved ones. How are you today? So, uh, you know how this works. Just like to remind you, it's not an exact science. So, if it doesn't make any sense now, just keep it in mind. You'll either remember it later, see it later, or somebody else will validate it for you later and go, I know what he's talking about. So, we're going. I'm hearing a song. Hang on. I'm trying to figure out which one it is. I want to take you higher by Sly and the Family Stone. They like to use that one a lot. I think they, I think they revert back to my music so I catch what it is. <laughs> I don't know the new modern stuff. But he's kind of boom shakalaka, boom shakalaka. Do, do, do. Okay, I'm hearing the music. So I'm not sure why he's playing that song. I don't know if you even listen to anything where that song would come on. Or maybe it has a different meaning for you. I don't know. They never waste a message. There's always a reason for whatever they show or say. Okay. He's... Do it again. He's showing you... I'm assuming you're in your home. Doesn't have to be. I can't tell for sure. But you, like, jerk your head. Like... Did I just see him? Did I just see something? It's like you... He's... He's showing you a little... I don't know if you thought you heard something, felt something, thought somebody was there, or you saw it out of the corner of your eye. I can't, I can't tell by the way he's showing it. But... You'll see stuff in your peripheral vision, and I include this up here as peripheral vision, because you can be looking down, and I... I can see him walk by, but then it even happens to me, and I can see him head on, but um, where if I think I see somebody walk by and I turn my head to look, you don't see it, so you think it was just your imagination, but it's not. I don't know why it works this way, but it does, and uh, he's showing me like a corner of a room, so I don't know if he's just showing me that, so I know that he, it's a room inside the house, or if you actually looked at the corner of the room, thought thought maybe out of the corner of your eye, however this, or felt it, or whatever it was, because he's not making that part clear. It's his show. And, um, so when you turned and looked, there was nothing there. So know that that was him. And if this hasn't happened, it will happen. But I feel like it's already happened. And it, 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 it's happened more than once. It's happened at least twice. So you doubt it because when you look, you don't see. And you're probably not going to see him. You So if you can try. I'm muttering again. If you can try not to turn your head, you'll get a better, you'll get a better look at it. You know, if, and I... I always turn my head. It's just, I can't do it either. He says he loves you. You are and we're special to him. Something about smoothing out a blanket. Like he's taking his hands and like getting the wrinkles out of a blanket. It's what it looks like. Smoothing out a blanket. So watch for your bedspread or your blanket on your bed or whatever. Because it looks like a long flat surface. So I don't know if he's... You have to keep smoothing it out because there keeps getting to be wrinkles in it or... Or if he's smoothing it out. He's not being real clear. So know that if you go into your bedroom and, you, and you've got your blanket or your bedspread or whatever on the bed. And it looks like it's been ruffled up. That's him. That's him doing that. So. Right. 
and it probably won't be like he's not going to pull it off the bed and throw it on the floor, you know, that kind of thing. It'll probably be just little, like, scrunches, you know, like where somebody's pushed on it or some sat on it or something. Okay, he's showing you sitting on the side of the bed. He's showing you doing it on the left side. Doesn't have to. I always say it exactly as they show. Doesn't mean it can't be the right side. But like, pat the side of, the, sit on the side of the bed. Pat the side of the bed next to you, and ask him to sit down and join you. Ask him to sit down and talk to you. You should feel, you should feel his presence, but you're also going to smell him. But if you do it, if you do it like this, it won't work. You have to be relaxed. You have to be calm. It can't be forced. You can't make them. You can't tie a rope on them and drag them. You can't make them. It doesn't work that way. It actually works the opposite. It makes it worse. Did you recently get some new earrings or did you do you have some earrings that you've been wearing lately that maybe he got you or that make you think of him? Something about some special earrings. So I think he's just trying to validate. Validate that it's him. Okay, he says there's some guilt, guilt that you need to release because you actually smiled and laughed the other day. And it may not be the first time, but you felt guilty, like you shouldn't be, like you're dishonoring him by actually having a giggle. That is the opposite of what he wants. He wants you. He wants you to enjoy yourself. He wants you to have a good life. He wants you to be happy. He wants you to not feel guilty for being happy. You cannot spend the rest of your life feeling guilty every time you smile. He absolutely over the top want you to laugh and smile and have a good time and have a light heart again. Tell her I love her. But that doesn't mean you can't smile. Everything's going to be all right. Yes, it will take time. It will take time. You're progressing. You're moving through it as you should. But you're still dragging your feet. You're not moving through it. I don't want to say as fast as you should. That's the way he said it, though, as fast as you should. I don't know that I would exactly put it that way, but they know best. Um. Again, he says everything's going to be all right. And the top of my foot just felt like. <laughs> okay, I got to look. Sorry. The top of my foot felt like a spider was walking across it. My bare foot. So no, when you get anything that happens to me during a reading is meant for you. And I mean, that was, wow. I'm surprised there wasn't something because I swear I felt it. Anyway, it's like a little spider walking across the top of my foot or something. No, when you get that, that'll be a sign from him. I ask him for unique signs and they always come up with something good. So, again, he says, I love you. But you're going to have to let me love you this way. And you, you cannot stop breathing. 
just because I'm gone. I don't know why I feel like it's over there. My rings. I don't know, he just drew my attention right over here. I have several rings over here. So I don't know if you got a ring that he gave you, a ring that you bought in memory of him. He says you're special, but you need to let your special fly. He means like open up, soar. Life is good. Life is what you make it. Now make it special. And if you need to do that in memory of me, then do that in memory of me. However you have to do it, make your life special. You get one go around. Well, that's what most people believe. I believe in past lives. I believe we come and go. You get one go around in this body as this person. Our soul, our spirit, I they've shown me we can, has multiple times here. But as far as this body, this person, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I don't think I want to do this again <laughs> in this way. The way my life has been. So he says, make the most of it. Heaven is for real. Okay, he's mentioning somebody. Now we stink at names. Nicknames, names. Both the same. Like Shirley. So it's a female with an, at least an S-S-H name. Like a Sure. It may not be Shirley, but then you might have to stretch that outside the box a little bit. He says he's run into a homie, and they're greeting by bumping knuckles. They have their arm around each other. The other guy is a little taller, fairly slim, dark hair, dark eyes. I don't know what nationality Hugh is, but this guy's also another nationality, but I'm not sure the same one as him. I'm not sure. He, well, he's not a white American. And if that's politically incorrect, I'm sorry. I don't know what your words to use nowadays on anything I get in trouble for, but you know what I mean. <coughs> He's definitely like Asian or, or something. That skin type. Oh, geez. I'll probably get in trouble no matter what or how I say it. Um, but somebody he was somebody he was close to. I can't tell if this guy was already there or he came out after i'm not sure but they have their arms around each other's shoulder they uh they obviously know each other pretty well you can't tell he's trying to show me they're doing something but he's he's kind of being a little faint you gotta get closer um they're smoking something I want to say left-handed cigarette, but don't hold me 100% to that. So, if you know what that is they're smoking, you'll get a whiff of that. And, like I've told you a hundred times, you can, you know, be in the store, outside, whatever. When you smell that, make sure you validate him, acknowledge him, tell him you love him, and ask him to bring you more.
<laughs> he says he's being good. You keep wondering if he's being good. He says he's being good. He's, he says he's a good boy. <laughs> it was just kind of the way he said it. I'm not, I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at the way he said it. Kind of, kind of cute. He's saying something about you have a woman that's close to you. She's older. So I don't know if this is like a mother or grandmother or mother or grandmother type figure. I always tell people the little lady that lives next door can feel more like your grandmother than your real blood grandmother that lives clear across the country that you talk to once a year. So she's, uh, he, he's shown her like with her arm around you, like hugging you, like she's lean on her. He's telling you to lean on her. Like maybe you're not, um, Maybe you're trying to be uh, Billy Badass and do it all by yourself. And he's telling you you can lean on this person, that that is a good idea, that, that she will be a good support system for you. She's very kind. She understands. She's been through it. And, and don't worry about it. Just just accept the help. Don't feel ashamed that you're still crying. That you're still upset. And don't, and I'm telling you, don't ever let anybody do that to you. Everybody goes through their own grief, their own way. They deal with it. They, they heal from it in their own time frame, their own way. And it's Nobody has the right to tell you, what, you're not over that yet? Nobody has that right. I even wrote a poem about it because I got tired of people saying that to me. And pretty much the end of the poem, I told them to go to hell. My grief, my time, I may take longer. That's none of your business. As long as you don't stay in it and waller too deep into it where you can't get out. But to grieve somebody a little longer than somebody else would, their time frame, everybody's different. Every situation's different. Every relationship's different. So don't, yeah, he says, don't feel guilty about it. Just don't stay too deep in it. He says, hiding it makes it worse. He's a little worried about you. A little worried. So call on him and ask him for help. <clears throat> when it gets when it gets too deep and you just are having trouble digging yourself up out of that hole, call on him. He'll either send somebody to call you, uh I don't want to say it. Break, break the silence. That's not the way I want to say it. Um, distract you. Um, somebody you can lean on. I don't know. None of those words seem right. I know what he means. But ask. Ask. ask not beg. Not demand. Ask him for some help to ease your broken heart, to ease the pain of him being gone. And he can kind of nudge people and help bring something into your life or somebody or even something that you just like to do. Some door will open. Somebody will say, hey, you want to go such and such? You know, it might be something that you really want to do. If that makes sense. Um...
<laughs> He's showing you skating. Do you like to go skating? If you do, go do it. If you don't, go try it. Because there's a reason that he's showing that. And they're they're pretty smart. They they you can see things from a different angle once you get up there. Makes things a whole lot different. Gives you a whole different perspective. I always tell people you can sit on the kitchen floor and you can see the room in one way. And then you can stand on the kitchen counter and you'll see the room in a whole different way, especially the dirt on top of my fridge. Good Lord, don't stand on my counters. So he's showing you as... It's like you're putting your foot forward. Shut up, thing. It's like there's. He said he's being a little vague today. It, it's like you're putting your foot forward, but you don't quite have it down, and it's and it's shaking. It's shaking as you. You you can't quite put it forward. You can't quite take that step. So there's something coming. I don't know if it's something you need to do or you want to do. And you're just terrified. You're terrified to take that step forward. You're, um... You're terrified to actually put it on the ground and go, okay, I'm going to try it. He says you should try it. It's something different. So it's something different you're thinking about or that's going to be presented to you. Something different. And so what if you fail? We fail at things every single day. It's not a failure. It's a failure if you don't try it. We fail at stuff all the time. We fail too. I can't think of anything. <laughs> can't fail too. You know, we might fail to put our shoes on the right feet or or might fail to put our shirt on, you know, we might put our shirt on backwards. You can call that a failure. I mean, so you spin it around and you correct it. It's not, he said, it's not life-threatening. It's not the end of the world, but it's something that I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get him to tell me if it's something that you're really, really desiring and you just don't think you can do it or if it's something going to be presented to you and he's not letting me know. It's going to be presented to you. It's something that you've kind of been spinning around in your head or you're going to. Again, he says, so what if you fail at it? So what? Give it a try. Go for it. Give it a chance. It'll distract you. It'll be something different. It'll be out of your norm. He's not telling me what it is or even along what line it is. I'm assuming just, just by the way he's presenting that it, it could be like a job or something. I don't hold me to that at all because I am absolutely not sure about that. It could be taking a yoga class, a dance class. It could be anything. It could be painting. I have no clue. He's not telling me. It's his show. He can present things however he wants to. He knows best. <laughs> it's uh, you might even feel this it's like he's got his hands under your butt and he's he's pushing you he's lifting you up and he's pushing you forward but he's got his hands cupped under your butt cheeks and he's trying to up boost you up and push you forward you could possibly feel that <laughs> like i'm sure you've heard me say before we don't have fingers anymore we don't need them 
that uh, you might still feel that pressure underneath your butt cheeks like come on go 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 he thinks it's time for you to at least take that little make it a baby step if you want to doesn't matter how you do it to, he wants the best for you that's what he said he says i want the best for you And this will help you immensely. I love you. And I hear you. And I know, I know, I know. So whatever you were just thinking, he's going, I know, I know, I know. can't change it but it will be okay with that he's going to leave he's walking he's walking away but he turns around and he's he's not waving he's he's doing some kind of hand gesture that i can't he's like i said he's being a little vague today it's almost almost like sign language or something i don't know what he's doing with his hand it's not it's not this it's not this maybe touching thing I don't know I honestly don't know if he's signing or what anyway much love to you my dear um thank you for allowing me to be his voice again Rhonda Constant your favorite hometown medium physical energy healer oracle card advisor paranormal investigator voice for your loved ones later